Let's start with the Screenalyzer Live application to capture the video. Let me just open it. OK. On the left side, there are control buttons for the camera. You can play, forward, rewind, and the main button that I'm looking for is Capture. If I press Start Capturing to see what's happening, my camera start playing it and I see some strange artifacts capturing here. Let me just stop to explain you in a minute what's happening. Uh, as you remember, my camera is NTSC format and I am trying now to capture the PAL standard from the tape. In order to do that, there is one trick. So first what I need to do is to close the screen laser live and pressing the play button on the camera and while the camera is playing I am reopening the screen laser live. In this case the driver detects that I am playing the PAL video and you see on the left side it's already properly recognized and I now ready to capture it without any issues. So I really hope that it will be working for you as well, guys, because I was very happy to see that <laughs> uh, it's, it really works and I can continue. So I have completed the capturing and uh, as you can see in this example, on the same tape, I had the PAL standard format and NTSC format. And when the transition come from PAL to NTSC, we have the same uh, artifacts here. So what we need to do is the same exercise that we did before. We just close and reopen the Screenalyzer Live and we can continue to capture uh, in the NTSC format. The capturing process has been completed and I noticed that Screenalyzer Live separated files for each scene. This is very useful when you are using video editing software to make some customized transitions between the scenes but in my case I am using it for home video library so I am going to join all together to do that you have to go to Screenalyzer Live just control and click for the video that you want to join or control A to join them all and go to edit from the menu and press join please remember that you have to do it separately for NTSC format and PAL format to avoid any aspect ratio issues after you press join from the menu you'll see that the scenes has been marked as join and you just need to press OK button here down below to commit and start the process. So let's press that. It says that it will write one file and the other files will be deleted. So I am OK with that. So the process started and it will take some time. The merge process has been completed and as a result we have two big files one is PAL and another one is NTSC you can see the size of the files here so the PAL format is 12 gigabytes and the NTSC format from, from the same tape is 1 gigabyte 